Sunday, May the 23rd, 2021, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and absolutely gorgeous uh, spring, late spring, I guess we're getting into late spring now, Sunday morning. Driving down through this cutover. Timber, it was timbered, I guess, two years ago. I'm not sure now. Haven't flown the drone in a while. We may fly the drone this morning. The parts for the Jeep have not come in, so I won't be working on the Jeep today. doesn't take long for Mother Nature to start reclaiming after a cutover or after a timbering process. I have already done a pre-flight checklist. Let's see, we want to get in the shade. It is I think it was 80 degrees already, 75 degrees. Seventy-five degrees. In Watkinsville, Oconee County, Georgia. Okay, I've got the drone sitting out there in the clear. When I turn it on, it goes through its own set of self-test. Make sure everything, all its systems are functioning and in good order, and it reports it back to my controller. And so that way I can see if it's the latest software, if there's anything, you know, out of adjustment or anything, it, <clears throat> it will report that. So I'm gonna go turn it on and you can watch it go through its self-test and um, it will orient and get its GPS and locate its home point and it should return back when I hit home it should return right back there or very close within a foot or so of it but um, the sort of still calm wind today so that shouldn't be much of a factor so uh, sometimes that is a factor so let's go turn it on Now it is uh, collecting data, version check, collect, uh, checking the information, firmware info, and some information. 
we're in a bad location so it may have a hard time connecting okay now we'll hit a go fly button it will report the drones um, whether it's okay to fly or not latest software latest firmware flight mode GPS compass is normal the chip is normal uh, everything is normal vision sensors everything is normal controller radio channel activity quality is poor that's probably because i'm here in the jeep let's see strong interference fly with caution that's probably awesome but because i'm here in the jeep remote control batteries at 70 percent all of my batteries are old and even though you charge them up they lose charge pretty fast so we won't be flying long Aircraft battery 52%. Okay, it's way down. And it's just been charged recently. 22 degrees centigrade. Gimbal status is okay. Uh, 32, 37, 258 megabytes remaining on the card. So, let's go fly. I'll turn the camera off while it's flying. I'll send it straight up. I have it set at a maximum height of 390 feet, which is just below the FAA regulations. Okay, right now I've got it flying at a distance of 996 feet away, 310 feet high. I'm going to press the home button and we'll watch it come home on its own.
Okay, we're headed back out. Um, I'm not sure where we're headed to. We may go down to Skull Shoals. We may go down and visit the Iron Horse. I will do it. We'll at least go visit the Iron Horse. I don't know if we'll go to Skull Shoals. We may go to um, over at Oconee at the Oconee River there at the campsite right there at 15 and maybe fly the drone over the river. We may drive some uh, Greene County, Oconee County, Oglethorpe, dirt roads. I just don't know yet. Okay, but we'll turn it off until we get to maybe the Iron Horse or either Elder, maybe Elder Cover Bridge. I'll go to Elder Cover Bridge first. I don't know if we'll fly it there or not, but we'll go to the bridge first.